Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and today I'm going to be talking about The House by the Cemetery. This is the 1981 film, obviously directed by Lucio Fulci. It is the final entry in the unofficial Gates of Hell trilogy. So the film does open with a woman who is trying to find presumably her boyfriend in a creepy and also presumably abandoned house. She does find what's left of him and then is dispatched by an unseen killer or force. The story then really begins with a family getting ready to move into said abandoned house and we learn that the house was previously occupied by the husband's former colleague who unfortunately committed suicide. So what follows then is even stranger and more bizarre than these circumstances and definitely unique. What did I like about this movie? Obviously, there's a lot of twists in it that I didn't want to spoil or give away, but it's very, very unique, I would say. It, it's something that hasn't really been done a lot which is interesting um, as it's a Fulci movie. The gore is super decent. The methods of dispatch are also very inventive. Um, sometimes it takes a long time to get to them, but they're usually worth the payoff. Um, I, I feel as though the main antagonist in this film is super Fulci. And once you kind of get a grasp of what's going on, you're, you're going to enjoy it. You're going to enjoy that he decided to go this route with the character. Again, it's it sounds really cryptic because I don't want to give a lot away. Um, my dislikes. The child actor that they got to play in this film, I could not stand. I'm usually not a fan of child actors to begin with, but there was something about him specifically that just, it was like peeling your nails up. It was so grating and horrible and you just wanted him to not exist in this film anymore because it was that bad and that unbearable. Like it really, I feel like ruined the film for me. I still enjoyed it, but I would have enjoyed it a lot more had he not been in it. Sorry. Uh, another dislike. Some of it, the buildup felt like it took a really long time and then it would be over. Like you, you don't get that, that much out of it. Um, they could have cut a lot out of some of the scenes, out of most of the scenes. We didn't need all the dramatic music and just people like looking and breathing hard and what have you. My opinion. That's my opinion. Um, I feel like I would rate this probably a 2.5 out of 5, which does hurt me deep in my soul. But to me, it wasn't Fulci's strongest film, and most of that is just because of how irritated I was with that kid. He just kind of sucked all the pleasure out of watching this movie. Because you knew once you were really into a scene, he's still around, he's going to be talking, and I don't think it was his real voice. I'm pretty sure it was a dubbed voice, but it was still terrible. And his acting was terrible. Whatever. Totally worth a watch. It's a Fulci movie. Be a completionist like me. Watch the trilogy. It's totally worth it. You're going to have a good time. You know, it's going to be gross and make you feel a certain way, which is awesome, as all Fulci films do. I found this on Amazon. I got the physical copy. Um... When I looked up on the internet where you could really get it, I couldn't find any specified streaming sites, but I'm sure if, you know, you're more well-versed in streaming than I am, I'm just kind of like starting to get into it, you could probably figure out where to find it, but it is available, physical copy. Do totally recommend it. Have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts? What's your favorite out of the Gates of Hell trilogy? That one, I don't even know what my favorite would be. Probably the beyond. That's got to be my favorite. But leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Like the video if you liked the video. Or you could like the video if you didn't like the video. 
uh, hit the bell to get all notifications of my uploads and enjoy House by the Cemetery.